Okay, so we're going to be doing lesson three of slope and rate of change. So uh, remember we started talking about slope, talking about whether it was steep or not. Um, <clears throat> so we're talking about the steepness of the line and comparing slopes just in terms of which ones were steeper or less steep. We talked about different words for slope, pitch, slant, grade, steepness. Um, and there are words that are used to describe slope. You could also use words like shallow or gentle when we're talking about a hill. Um, we also defined slope, talking about the slope is a ratio that compares to the vertical change over the horizontal change or the rise over run. And we started, uh, we talked about the fact that we use the variable m to talk about slope. Um, now, we then did some calculations. We also talked about conversion, that slope is a ratio between the rise and the run, but you, in order to calculate it, you need to have it in the same units. So you can't have feet over meters. You have to make sure that it's both feet and feet or meters and meters, okay? Um, so that was our first lesson. Then this morning, we talked about taking a graph and calculating slope from a graph. So using those points on a grid to help us count our rise and our run. And talking about the difference between a positive and a negative slope as well. That a positive slope goes up from left to right and a negative slope goes down. And we generally calculate that using our rise because if our rise is going down, we'll make it a negative number. If it's going up, we'll make it a positive number. Uh, and you guys just did some practice on that. Now we're gonna talk about horizontal and vertical slope. So this should seem familiar. Uh, so we're looking at these four graphs. We're gonna start by looking at this first one. Uh, looking at that, it's going up. So it's a positive slope. We know that. And we're just gonna calculate our rise and run. So our slope is our rise over run. And our rise, it goes up one, two, three and it goes over, the run is one, two, three, four. So, uh, and if I divide that, I'll get 0.75. So that would be our slope, nice positive slope there. Now we see a different picture with B. It's going down, so it's negative. So if we sketch that in, rise over run, our rise is down, so it's one, two, three, four, five. It will be negative five, because it starts higher than it ends. And our run is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so seven. So if we divide those, we get negative 0 0.71, and it continues four, but we're just gonna go to two decimal places. Sorry, I should have written rise over run in that first column there, okay? because that's what we're always looking for. So we have those two. Now we have two other graphs that look very different because it's hard to really think about them in terms of our rise over run. Um, they are, this first one here, C, is a flat line. So it, it's not going up or down. So it is horizontal. And if we look at that, if we're thinking about our rise over run, our rise is zero, it doesn't go up or down. Our run is one, two, three, four, five, six, correct? Yep. Zero divided by six is zero. So anytime we have a flat line when it's horizontal, the slope is zero. Um, because it's not just because you're gonna have a rise of zero. Okay, and you can, you, you can calculate it to figure it out. But if you remember that horizontal lines have a slope of zero, you can save yourself some time. Now this one, a little bit different. If we look at it, it does have a rise, but its run is zero. It doesn't change from left to right. So the rise is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and our run is zero. This is a vertical line. Now, <clears throat> if you do your division here, 10 
divided by zero. Everybody try that on the calculator. You get an error because this is what we call undefined. If you divide anything by zero, zero can go into any number an infinite number of times. So your calculator cannot define that term. It's undefined. Um, so anytime you have a vertical line, the slope equals undefined. And you can do it, figuring it out, putting in the zero and getting at that error button on your, or the error notice on your calculator. And that should remind you that it's undefined. Or you can just remember, vertical lines are undefined. Okay. So let's summarize some of this. Yeah, I'm trying to erase these lines. Da, da, da. Okay, so in the last two questions, we found that horizontal lines has a have a rise of zero, and therefore the slope is uh, is. Oops, I know what I want to write. It's going to be zero over run, or zero. Vertical lines have a run of zero, so therefore the slope is going to be rise over zero or undefined. So let's look at some real life objects with slopes of zero. Um, here we have a nice, um, you know, C line. What do you call that? Horizon line, horizontal horizon line. A table, if it's done right, is going to be nice and flat. Um, undefined, a wall um, or a wall of a house is going to have this nice straight up and down undefined slope. Okay, so you can find these naturally enough um, and that's how they work. Now, complete the following statements. <clears throat> when a line is slanted upwards from left to right. So you sketch one in there. So say we have it starting here and going here. It has a positive slope. When a line is slanted downwards, oops, I better find that. <clears throat> so here and to there, we'll say, Look at that nice straight line. We better rewrite that because that is not nice and straight. Well, that's not much better. If it goes down from left to right, it has a negative slope. If it's horizontal, so say we have a horizontal line, it has a slope of zero. If it's vertical, it has a slope of undefined. So those are the four kinds of slopes that you're going to be dealing with. Okay. Now, your assignment, you're going to do what do you call a duck that steals. For the 7 through 18, you can use these grids. You might need to use them more than once. I think there should have been two pages. Um, and then you can figure out what that special message is. Okay, so that's undefined.